You know what? To hell with this franchise. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you finally let me talk from the last review. I've been, I've uh, been that's shut actually up. coming out after this one. Ma Matt. <laughs> We're recording these out of order. Uh, I can't believe you did this to me. This movie clearly was trying to be... I don't know. It, it was trying to be dark and gritty. I don't know. It feels like it's trying to, like, explain how Jason exists. Which is always the death knell for these series. Because... We watched part Halloween 6 yesterday. The yeah. video's not out yet. But that was stupid. Uh, Freddy's Dead, where they try to explain how he became came to be, is kind of good, but then they have stuff about, like, magic dream people that doesn't make any sense at all. So, what? See, I haven't been watching these. I, I haven't been present for any of these. So I have no idea. <laughs> but, yeah, it... it... Spoiler alert, Halloween 6, not a good movie. No. Um, but this movie, I feel like a lot of movies around this time in the 90s had not, they had not a lot of variety. Most of them were gritty and dark and trying to be hard-boiled yeah. at the time. This follows in the trend, and of course, because it's the ninth installment, it's awful. Yeah. And, um... I mean, there's not a whole lot else to say about it. Yeah, no. Actually, we had a lot more fun with this movie than the, I think the movie had with this movie. Yeah, it, there is stuff to laugh at. And stuff to make fun of. Yeah. <laughs> um. I, okay. Like? <laughs> so this film starts with Jason dying. Right. Except last we left Jason, he, he got melted dead. by acid. So they could have just picked up from there. Like, he was already dead. Yeah, he was dead. You brought him back. I don't know how he's back. But you brought him back. And then you killed him again. And you <laughs> killed him again. Immediately. Like, before the opening credits. Yeah. And then it's basically the whole movie is this worm thing trying to become Jason again. Yeah. I guess that's the worm thing going it's, through his mask on the cover. Even it, it, re it, it reminds, doesn't really look like that. It reminds me an awful lot of Howard the Duck. <laughs> and he's got the worm thing coming out of his mouth, and he's trying to infect people with it. And That's what that reminded me of. I don't know how good that holds up, but that's the point we're at here. Um, and just... Oh, wow. All right. Um... I seriously, um, th this movie. So the movie spends a lot of time with characters that are not Jason, because hell is other people. <laughs> but that's that. really. I got that joke. It's like we're not here for the other people. We're here for Jason. We're here for to see Jason slice people up, like. Early on in the series, you can focus on the characters, but we're at a point in this franchise where it's like, nah, just kill a bunch of people. We, we, we don't should, care. We should probably also mention the fact that this is uh, New Line Cinema. This is their first movie after they bought the rights. Yes. And all of the movies after this, or at, from this point forward, are named with Jason and not Friday the 13th. Yes. So... so they definitely put their best foot forward in this movie. Well, it's called Jason Goes to Hell The Final Friday. So it's like, gets rights to this franchise, immediately is like, let's make this the last movie. Also doesn't take place on Friday the 13th, or a Friday. It, so might, it might have taken place it, on They didn't Friday. say anything about it. There are three movies in this franchise that we know of that have taken place on actual Friday the yeah, 13th. Where they, where they actually say, oh, it's Friday the 13th. You'd think that that'd be a little bit more common in a, in a series called Friday the 13th. It would... Getting too upset over this, but you get, you get the point. You know, even if it's just a throwaway line, it's like, oh, you know what day it is? Friday the 13th. Ooh. Uh, no, Saturday the 14th. 
which is a bad movie. <laughs> Wait, is that a real movie? Yeah, there's a parody movie called <laughs> Saturday the 14th. has nothing to do with Friday the 13th. It's more a parody of Nightmare on Elm Street than it is Friday the 13th. And it came out a year before Nightmare on Elm Street. It's a, it, it takes place on Elm Street in a house that looks just like the Elm Street house from Nightmare on Elm Street. But it came out in 83, and Nightmare on Elm Street was 84. Huh. Yeah. Wow. You learn it's something about like, new every day. It's about, like, vampires. This... Okay, there... I, I don't know if we've talked about this, but this doesn't actually have any hell in it. No. There's, like, one line where the person is like, Go to hell! And... Yeah. At the very end, he gets, like, sucked into the ground. Presumably now he is in hell. So the next movie should be Jason Goes to Hell 2. Actually, what we told you we were going to do. Jason takes hell. Jason takes hell. I mean, he goes to hell in this one, but... I don't know. I kind of expected more of him in hell in this one. Yeah. Like... I don't know how much you could have done with that premise because people can't really die in hell, but... <laughs> like in South Park, it's like... It's like, I thought you died, Saddam. Well, I was already in hell. Where'd you think I was gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> um, y- yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about this movie. I mean, it- this movie does set up... Jason vs. Freddy yeah. coming soon, probably tomorrow, right, Matt? No. We have, like, there's, like, three Halloween movies from the 90s we gotta get through, plus a video on New Nightmare, plus Jason X came out before Jason vs. Freddy. Spoilers! <laughs> Jason survives to the year 3000-ish. Jason X takes place in the year 24-something. So 2455. He's, so he survives 400 years after the events of Jason vs. Freddy. Spoilers. <laughs> and that movie came out before... That's, this movie became very Terminator in the end. Yes. Um, you had the Jason-infected person taking on the police station. And you had to protect this girl. And then this other guy comes in who, who knows all the information and is trying to tell them, but they won't listen. And... It just becomes Terminator. Yeah, it, it's very Terminator. And it's not even good Terminator. Like, Terminator was fun in that scene. This movie just, oh, this is a movie that happened. Might well, as well use it because it worked then, right? <laughs> okay, so like, not actually Jason, but a dude possessed by Jason is in this police station and he's, like, pushing them around like this. Oh, yeah. he does. And then, of... like, they're bleeding everywhere. Yeah. And it's like, are they dead? Because it kind of just looks like he pushed them over. That doesn't look like a death. Granted, there was one of those in the last movie where he just, like, threw a dude into a pipe. <laughs> and then it's like, uh, that dude's probably still alive. Yeah. <laughs> um... There was a really funny movie, or a really funny scene in this movie. There was a really funny movie. It's called Spaceballs. <laughs> Matt. So he, the, this black guy is in jail with the with the uh, the main character, white guy, and he's like, "I got some information for you, but you gotta you gotta uh, pay for it." He's like, "Give me your hand." Well, what's the payment? Give me your hand. He's like, "What's what's the payment?" That doesn't. <laughs> so he's like. He breaks his fingers, like, that's not really a, a payment, but he does it again. I think he does it, like, three times. Uh, he does it twice. Okay. And then, like, he... So, okay. This one's on the so, house. <laughs> yeah. So the dude is trying to find out why, like, his girlfriend is the only one that can kill Jason. And... Okay, I, wa- I want you to stop right there. What is the first thing that pops into your head as to why his girlfriend would be able to kill Jason? We're going to give you five seconds, all right? All right. Is it that it's Jason's sister? Yeah, because it's Jason's sister's daughter. Jason's niece. The fuck? This is... This is like... Bad screenwriting 101. You're being so unprofessional right now, I can't believe it. Hold on, my mom's calling me. So, 
this dude is trying to figure out why his girlfriend is the only one that can kill Jason. It's Jason's sister. This is like That's screenwriting 101. This is Dragon Ball Z levels of stupid. <laughs> but, okay. So, he's trying to get this one piece of information out of the guy. This he's is like, the first question that he asks. He's too. like, why is my girlfriend the only one that can kill Jason? And he tells him two different pieces of information before getting to that. And he's like, you gotta pay for that information. It's like, that was the only thing he was asking! Right. I don't know, the guy was an asshole. Did he? I think he survived this movie. The black guy? Yeah. Or, you know, he died. He died. Creighton Duke. Yeah, that's a name. Anyways. It is technically a name. Uh, this movie did two good things. It put Friday the 13th in the same universe as Evil Dead and Nightmare on Elm Street. Because the Necronomicon is in it. Also, some of it's kind of funny, but most of it's not. Yeah. Anything else? No. Alright, go to hell. I got that joke. <laughs>